Hi, how are you? Uh, podcast? No, actually, I'm video casting today. I was going to do a podcast, um, but I couldn't figure out stuff like the feed URL, uh, how to um, put stuff in the head or whatever it is. I'm still a novice at this. Um, but figured I wanted to get something in on an alternate media other than just the writing, so, so here we are. Uh, I've got some better lights. I'm working with my flip camera, uh, so the sound may not be great. Uh, I've got a stopwatch to make sure that this post is not too long. And uh, I'm excited about getting this done. I'm going to talk about a few things. Uh, one is I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Steve Garfield. Steve Garfield of Get Seen. Uh, this is part of my inspiration for, for uh, doing this, this uh, video cast. Uh, I've got my friend, my dummy. Uh, this is actually my son's wrestling dummy. Uh, my son hasn't put it to good use, so now uh, we just hang out. And he'll be keeping me company during at least this portion of, of the podcast. Hopefully the sound's going to come out all right. I um, wanted to talk about a couple of things. Um, I had uh, discussed earlier something about becoming a boomer guru. Um, but I've kind of changed that. Um, I like to think of myself, uh, and I like to believe there are others out there like me, who are more of a ronin, masterless samurai. Um, if you haven't seen it, you should uh, check out Seven Samurai. Um, Magnificent Seven was the Western version of that, but, but Seven Samurai. Uh, these were individuals who uh, had lost their bosses in feudal Japan and who traveled the countryside uh, trying to make a living. Uh, when they, they still maintained their code of honor. Um, they were outside society. They fought for what was right. They fought with whatever weapons were at hand. They didn't sell out to anybody. Uh, and that's actually kind of what I've been transforming my way of thinking to. Uh, originally, I was going to start this second career as a, a guru for, for the boomer generation. You know, people my age, I'm going to be 52 in a, in a month or so, um, who weren't giving up, who, who were going to be uh, expanding their horizons physically, emotionally, spiritually, um, who still had a contribution to make, make it in a big way. Um, you know, there are people who, who, you know, I really admire Adam Walensky and his dedication to service to this country in, in terms of law enforcement and, 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 and education, getting things done. There's Colonel Lau um, with, with the United States Marine Corps. Uh, there's Fred Bielfeld, the commissioner in Baltimore. Um, there was my father. There are a lot of people who have uh, decided, you know what, we're going to stand up for what's right, uh, no matter the cost, who... Uh, kind of have Frank Sinatra's My Way playing in the background, and, and I want to be a part of that. So what I'm talking about today is um, the creation, the creation of, of a community uh, that will try to Ronin. Um, and, you know, I'm a guy, so we're going to start out working with guys, right, um, that, uh, you know, who embody the virtues of the Ronin, those masterless samurai who will fight with whatever weapons are at hand, who want to make a contribution to the world, um, and won't roll over, but instead, you know, want to stand up. So it's good about three and a half minutes, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, I'm going to be trying out the Kodak ZI-8, I hope, which will add some additional sound features, trying to keep it low cost, uh, but trying to upgrade each time. And uh, thank you for listening. Done with this. We're done. Goodbye.